Hi there. Right. I've had a few questions about these um, resist um, gel plate prints that I've been doing this week. So I thought it'd be easy to put it onto a video. Um, what I've got here is the original painting. And that's a line drawing from the original painting. And this is one that I'll come back to at the end of this demo video and show you the scraping away process. So at the moment, that's going to go to one side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and the same goes for the, um, the original painting. That's the last you set it up. What I'm going to do now is... Uh, Draw this out in our pastels. Just make sure you're getting a good view of that. So I'll zoom in closer. So I haven't got the oil pastels for the one that I'm going to scrape the oil pastels away from uh, in a few moments. Um, but I've done versions of this one before and it goes quite well with uh, quite how should I put it pastely colours so what I tend to do is I especially with something like this which is pretty simplistic I'll follow and I know my hands in the way and I apologise about that but I'll follow round the outline bearing in mind I'm only going to take a 20 centimetre stamp print from it. So I don't need to go wild, so to speak. Obviously, since I've figured out about this uh, scraping away the oil pastel afterwards, what I ought to mention as well, these oil pastels are quite, I've never found it with any other medium, the difference between, not that I've explored other mediums as far as this, I've probably explored oil pastels, but... Uh, the contrast between these and any other oil pasta. These are Sennelier oil pastels. They're more expensive, but I don't know whether it's they've got. They're the original oil pastel. It's who Picasso went to and commissioned to come up with a new oil media, and this is what they came up with. I think it probably makes a big difference, um, because I mean they just stink a linseed. They're um. Uh, there's quite a high, I would guess, maybe I'm wrong about that, uh, a high content of linseed to them. Um, what that means is I think that they resist quite, they work quite well as a resist, so you get quite a lot of detail because there's uh, there's a lot of whatever it is that works as, as the oil pastel, which obviously is going to resist against the water media that you I'm putting onto the gel plate and then stamping that from. Um, and it also pays dividends at the end as well when you scrape it away because it means it, it, it saturates the paper in a much more complete manner than other, other oil pastels just feel quite honestly like soft pastel after you've used some LEA oil pastels. They're, they're way they're in a completely different league, completely different league. So I've, I've sort of learnt the lesson with um, with the with the yeah. This has all come through me using these oil pastels. So there is that to bear in mind. It could be a product thing because I think it's probably best for me to say that now. That I mean they're readily available everywhere, but they're not. They're a bit more expensive than your average oil pastel, but 
if you use our pastels quite a bit or you like drawing <laughs> I think they're uh, brilliant media right so what you have to bear in mind when I'm doing this is this is all going to come out as one tone the I'm using it as a resist, so I have to bear that in mind. Although I would like to get carried away with the colours, I can't really, yeah. So, as this is from a series that I called The Yellow Dress, it's probably best to do something that kind of nods the head towards that. <laughs> what do you reckon? So obviously you're not going to get to see this in this uh, video, but um, I'll show you what happens when I um, ink up the uh, the plate and take a stamp from it. So I figure a bit of ultramarine. This is just standard medium body uh, Galleria, nothing expensive, Winter and Newton. to put too little on rather than too much to begin with I guess you don't want too much going on there is what I've found right. okay so there we go So you can see, obviously one's an imprint and uh, how's that? There we go, you can see it down on it. And yeah, I'll work that into a print. Uh, quite simplistically, I would imagine. <laughs> uh, and I'll probably use... Um, Complementary colours, I'll probably use an orange against that um, ultramarine because they stand out and then do various lifts and things. And I've got bits and pieces that I might print into it. Scraping tools, these are great, they're called uh, combing tools. You get them in various gradients. They're fantastic for this sort of thing. So I'll probably use a bit of that later on. But what I'm gonna do now is go over back over to the um the original smaller print and show you the 
scraping off part of this. Right, let's get right in on this. How's that? Okay, so again, it's the um. That's a scraping tool. I'm going to use the dead side of it. So, now obviously you don't want to go too wild because you'll just rip everything up. And it's always good to have a bit of a low roll handy to clean whatever you're going to use as a blade against this. we go. Give it another bit of a clean. When you do the uh, closer details this later um, yeah make sure whatever you use is quite critical keeping it quite clean on that edge otherwise you start obviously smearing a lot of paint about it's not always applicable So yeah, that, let's get that again. and that's how they go from the original painting to, um, and that's what I mean by scraping off oil pastel. Obviously you can get, I mean that's one where, that's an earlier one where really I had no idea about using this technique but I'll be posting some later where I'm taking full advantage of it now because obviously I'm quite conscious of uh, it's a waste of an image and it also gives some really interesting contrasting images so no doubt there'll be more stay tuned thanks for watching this far cheers Ta -ra.